Hi guys, it's Anna here and I'm back with you today and I'm going to be talking to you about self-belief. Now, self-belief is already something I've touched on in the previous videos. I've talked about the belief that I had that I couldn't charge more for my services and how that was limiting me in terms of running and growing my business. But today I wanted to talk a little bit more about self-belief because I think sometimes people will see testimonials or they maybe hear a story like mine and they'll think oh those things are made up or it's not possible for them and I actually had a friend of mine or somebody I know through Facebook contact me recently he had read a testimonial that I'd done for Simon in Simon's book and he said oh, I've been reading this book and um, I just saw this testimony and I was just wondering if this is you and I said yeah of course it's me why do you ask he said oh I just thought that all those things were made up so I want you guys to know that everything that Simon and I are sharing with you is legit. Um, through the development that I've done, through the development that Simon's done, we both know that integrity and honesty are massive, massive values that you have to have if you want to run a successful business. So everything that we're sharing with you is completely true, is completely legitimate. And what I would challenge you to think about today is if you are feeling skeptical about you know these sorts of things, check yourself and ask yourself why. Because perhaps how you're judging the things that you're reading or you're judging the things that you're seeing is more a reflection on your beliefs about yourself than it is a, a reflection on your belief about what other people can achieve. So what I want you to know is that if you wanna build a successful nutrition business, if you want to do something you've never done before, if you want to take your nutrition business online, you have to become somebody you've never been before. And that is exactly what this little diagram is all about. So I've already told you the story about how I was working one-on-one uh, -on -one with clients, I was undercharging, I felt my time was under threat and being taken advantage of, and my clients weren't getting incredible results. So I didn't have that much belief in myself. So obviously the person who's standing here now in front of this camera talking to you is a very, very different person to the person who started her online nutrition business three years ago. And yes, I have been probably where you have been before, which is, you know, wanting to throw in the towel and wanting to hide my head in the sand and you know, just pretend that I didn't exist, wanting to just give the business all up due to the frustrations I've experienced. And um, this is what I sometimes refer to as growing pains, because in order to achieve something we've never achieved before, we have to become someone that we've never been. And we all know that in order to grow, you have to get out of your comfort zone. It's probably something you tell your clients all the time. So when you do feel this resistance, when you do feel this low level of belief, when you do just want to throw in the towel, when you do want to give up, know that those times that challenge you the most are the opportunities to grow the most. But this is something that I wanted to share with you. And if you were to come on board and work with Simon, this would become very familiar. Um, basically, what this is representing is your two, two identities. Perhaps the identity of where you are now and the identity of the person that is going to achieve incredible things. So this is where you are. This is where you want to get to. This is the person that you need to become. So what does this person say and what does this person think about themselves? What does, how does this person talk to themselves? What do they believe about themselves um, versus this person? What does this person say to themselves? How does this person talk to themselves? How does this person behave? And what does this person believe about themselves? So even if at this point in time you want to pause the video and maybe write some notes, we're really trying to look at the difference between this identity versus that identity there. So ultimately what we're asking is what do you need to believe about yourself to get to your higher identity, to get to your, a higher and better version of yourself, the, the person who is going to succeed. So 
I'll leave you with a little exercise today, which is to maybe think about that. Um, and the final question is, what needs to happen? What needs to change in your life so that you can have the belief that this is possible, that you can do this? So finally, just to say that Simon will be with you tomorrow. Um, he will be sharing some marketing strategies with you. And on the topic of self-belief, in my first six months in business, I didn't really know how to run Facebook ads. So I just used to do like organic stuff on Facebook and obviously with Simon's input. Um, and within my first six months in business, I had my first 20K, that would be pounds, not dollars, month, um, just using the strategies that Simon is going to share with you tomorrow. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do the exercise and I'll speak to you soon.